welcome to Boosted Blogs. I need you guys to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Today we're going to do a Louisiana crawfish bro. Okay? But the first thing we're going to do, you're going to get your peppers. Like I showed you in the last video. You're going to take them like this. Cut them like this. Okay? Cut them like, like so. And sometimes, if you take these seeds out and you dry them out and germinate them, you can have your own jalapeno peppers. Okay? Sometimes you can get them to where you can just like grab hands full of them. But they didn't have them in the store today. They only had the ones they already had individually packed up. So I got some of those. And be careful about wiping your eyes and your face touching peppers. Okay. Cutting. Once I cut these, cut the peppers, man. But let me go through what we have, okay? We got onions. Your onions, you're gonna hold your flavor with your food. Okay, we have uh, manders by someone to try the green onion kind. So we got manders. Uh, on this one right here, we have. Uh, um, the MT by Manners too, Louisiana um, smoke sauce, the hot version. So we're gonna put those. We're gonna put those in there. We have the um, Louisiana crawfish, shrimp, crab broth, and we have some. Uh, well, down here is a store called Save a Lot Shoppers Value. I'm sorry. And we got some of their Adams cayenne pepper. And we're gonna use these bottles of salt to purge the crop. We're gonna come back to you guys when we have some of the vegetables chopped up. Now, and that bitch, we're gonna cut up some more onions. Now see, sometimes I see people, they take all the skin off the onion. I just keep that on enough for extra flavor. One of these days I'm gonna grow my own onions. I'll show you guys that. Okay. I'm gonna take them. See, some people they do it once they pot get to be on, but I like to do mine ahead of time so I can just keep rolling. Especially when I have Buku people to feed, I can just cut them up and keep on rolling. as they come to the table. See? Take them like that. That's all you do. That's all you do. Some people just leave them whole, but I like to chop mine up. So, you know, just to get some of that juice of the onion to, to the water. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. How big I leave some of them, leave some of them that big, leave some of them that big, all, even all of the skin, all that in the water, okay? Okay, and just, oh, same old. And see what I do since I use some of those peppers up. I'll take some peppers out of here. Put some more in that pot there. So, seem like in this video is, is to, the darkness gonna catch us. So, but at least I can have all of the vegetables cut up. 
to where they are like so, okay? Like so. Like so. Like so. Put more peppers in there. Okay. Put the top of that. These onions, I'll just get them one more time. So. Man. Ah! Oh! Okay. Pepper. Wow. Okay, put that over there. Okay. Do that. Do that. Put your smoke sauce. Okay. All in the box. I like to put my onions in my smoke sauce in the same box for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like mine to be like little bite size. I have kids. I just take them like so. In the box. Shout out to Hee Hee Granite for supplying this beautiful um piece of granite for me there on um south sherwood forest boulevard in a great city of baton rouge louisiana shout out to he granite okay and chopping it like this like this okay okay Watch your hands, baby. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna cut up the um, it's the sausage that my son wanted the um, the green onion by Manders. Now this brand here, this brand is still by Manders. Yeah, it's still by Manders. See, see right here. See, made package company, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So it's still a Manders product. And you know, like now nah, I like this too, the MTR, but. The um the green onion is is on good too. Okay. So now we're gonna do these sausages. Now this is gonna be my first time putting these with crawfish. These green onion sausages. Now I like to like I'm gonna have a store in Louisiana called um Rouses. And I like to get their store green and smoke their green onions. Oh man. They are delicious. Smoked on the grill. Chop these Mom. up for him. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll be right back when we get to our onions. Okay, now. We're gonna get ready with our onions. Just gonna take them out of the ice so. We only just doing it one sack today. Just for me, the kids, and the wife today. So we only just doing just one sack. So, okay, so. I think it's like a 40, 40 pound, 35 pound sack. Okay, so with your onions, you know, really just take them like this. Take them over like that and just chop them like this. Okay, now 
some people like to use the purple onions. Yeah, I me prefer too. the white onions. To me, they hold the flavor down more with your food. Now, the purple onions, I kind of use them like for steaks and potatoes. But like when I'm outside in the yard, you know, hanging out with the kids, you know, you know, I'm gonna go with the white onions to um, do my um, burling, all my seafood burling outside, okay? So I'm gonna take it and just like so, you know? Just take it. like so and you know you really don't have to peel the onions you know now you could peel them you know but I just put all that in the water too you know just take the lice up hit them in half Louisiana weather. One minute is cold, next minute is hot. I was getting, it was steaming hot today. Now it's getting back cool now. Okay. Oh yeah, y'all be safe out there with the coronavirus. You know, COVID-19. That's you know, be be safe out there. If you have your mask, wear your mask. If you got gloves, wear your gloves. Make sure you keep your hygiene up. Your home clean. COVID-19 is out there, and we're going to shake back from that. Okay, so take your onions, do your onions like this, okay, take them, just chop them like this, like so, okay, okay, and see like really, I mean, you could just wait till you get your pot broiling, Start getting your um your condiments um ready for the pot, but we're just gonna be a little prepared with it and just get it out the way now. We would have caught y'all earlier today on uh, um, Jay Lane and Associates, but someone left the camera. So we're gonna Get this together. I'll get a shot of Beloved. No. That's my baby, that Beloved. She's a year, two weeks old. So she's not going to have me in the public for probably about two to three years from now. You know, so if you want a puppy from her, they're going to start off at $1,200. $1,200 for the girls. Thousand bucks for the boys, but that's not going to be until two to three years from now. Give it, give it, give it. Okay. So now, as you see, we're still on the onions. So we're going to get back to you guys when we start to clean, clean the crawdads. Add the crawdads to the cooler. Okay. Now we're gonna add some water to it. And while we add the water to it, we're gonna add our salt. You know, it's a, you know a, a New Orleans thing. You know, some people down here in the country, they don't really thirst this. So in New Orleans, we take some salt. We do like this, Tom. We're going to maybe do this process maybe about two or three times until all that 
Louisiana brown water turn to the clear water, okay? So, okay. So now we just add a little bit more salt to them. See, this is what I was telling you in the, in the beginning of the video. That we had the salt for because I see a lot of people on YouTube, they take salt and they um, put it inside with they season it with their crawfish and the Louisiana crab and crawfish seasoning, it already has a lot of sodium in it anyway. So when you take one of these and you add a whole one of these to your pot along with the 300 some grams of sodium, then you're gonna have almost at about 800 to nine, 800 to 900 grams of just sodium in your pot. So for us, we just use the salt just to purge it, and that's it. So we'll click back on to you guys when we start draining these crawfish and seeing what they're gonna look like in a minute. So stay tuned. Okay, as you guys see, we're still letting the crawdad soak. See them moving in there? Sitting in the cooler. In a minute, we're gonna drain them out. We're gonna continue with the process again. Okay. So you guys stay tuned to Boosie Vlogs. Now, we're letting the water drain out of them. As you guys can see, letting the water come out. And then we're gonna repeat this process at least about um, two to three times. It all depends on how the water will be looking. Okay, we're just letting the water dry out. See, they still moving around. These are some big old crawdad. Look at this crawdad here, man. That big old crawdad, man. Come to Louisiana and get your crawdad. You see them? Louisiana, baby. So, yeah, so we're gonna drain these. And then I'm gonna show you another technique that we use while we, um, preparing our seafood to be consumed, okay? So, I'm going to dump these out, to the cooler a little bit. You see all that brown water? Because really, crawfish be in the mud, and they come up and get a little out and they go right back down in the mud, okay? Or they call it mud bugs. Get all that dirt off them, make them throw up. So we may have to repeat this maybe two to three times. Okay. Now we're gonna be putting more. Add a little bit more salt. Okay, put the salt on. I'm going to add our water. Put our drain closed up. Okay. Are we staying in the city up big or we finna have fun every day, you hear me? Okay, so now. Now. We're going to fill them up to water. Now, I see on you. Personally, I don't want to taste sand in my, in my food. 
Okay. So we're gonna get back to you guys. I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt. We're gonna get back to you guys. Let me let these. Now, as you see, the water getting a little clear now. As you see, got the water getting a little clear. So I say these can make go probably one more time, and they'll be ready to go in the pot. Okay. So we hit you back once we purge these a little more. Second time. Drain out. Water still in there. So we'll let these go again. Help tilt the cooling over so far. You see, some like really, you're not supposed to just take the crawfish. You just throw them in your pot and just start cooking. You, know, you gotta take your time, you gotta clean them. You have to separate the dead crawfish from the live crawfish because the dead crawfish have worms inside of them. So, what you another time you purge them. So, maybe in the next clip, we'll show you guys what we separate. Now, we'll separate dead from the live. That pot there, that strainer there, we got all the dead. This pot here, we have all the live ones. Now you see? You see? You hear me? So, all the live ones, the older ones we eat. All the dead ones, they're going in the garbage can. Okay? Take some more. Um, now. This one looks like a dead one. Another dead one. Yeah, he dead. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna do all these until we get all the dead ones and all the live ones separated. Okay. This one, he's still alive a little bit. He's still moving a little bit. Gonna throw them in the live pot. Like all the dead ones, see like if you cook the dead ones, but the live ones, you're gonna have worms, worms in your crawfish. So it's just like if you have a dead body and it start decomposing, the same thing when you're cooking your food, fam. I see fam, how I got him in there. I'm gonna scoop him out of there. Scoop him on up out of there. Put him on in the pot with the live ones. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna continue to separate them. You know, continue to separate all the ones that's moving. But um, I get my crawfish from um, Rick's Crawfish over there in um, the city of Port Allen. And you know, all, all of his crawfish be, you know, fresh and, you know, they be fresh. So go look at them up here on Facebook at um, Rick's um, West Side Crawfish. Man, he always have crawfish for your wallet, man. I mean, you know, um, he's he's a, he's another black brother, and he's always looking out, man. I mean, I mean, man, man. If you go talk to him, man, man, you make him get two sacks for under hundred dollars, man. You know, I'm talking about two big, nice sacks of um, live crawfish. You hear me? So yeah, so you know, support black businesses, white businesses, you know. Chinese business said, you know, just support people and see who's trying to have jobs for other Americans, you know? So what we're gonna be doing right here, we're gonna be sitting right here, really just separating all the dead, all the ones that's dead and alive, we're gonna be separating them, okay? That's the only thing we're gonna be doing is just sitting here. If he moving a little bit, then he gonna go in the pot and get brown. But if he not moving like yay, you throw him over there. You see? And then basically that's all what you're really doing. You're just going through and you're getting out the dead ones from your live ones, okay? Now, I had these for over like six hours. You know, I got off of work today. Me and my son and 
we decided, hey man, let's have crawfish for dinner. So we came out and we started brawling. But just like y'all go check out that um how to burrow Louisiana blue um blue crab on booster blog. And you know, dolphins may catch us on this one. But when y'all say in the comments, y'all want some more, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some more. So them them right there. Now see him right here, he's still alive. See, he just acting like he's dead. I'm gonna put him in there. Okay, he gonna go in the live batch, okay? And then you have some of them that be, cause you have some of them that be still in shock, that be still kinda, you know, woozy, but trust me. They be in that pot with them dead ones, they gonna, they, they gonna get them moving, and we'll be able to catch them to see which one's moving. So, once we got all these separated from the live and the dead ones, we gonna cut the camera back off. Okay, as you see, we separated the first batch. Oh, we got a live one in here. And sometimes, we may have a little one still come to sleep. I think, we got another live one. He alive. Any one, you see any type of movement in them. They're gonna be good to go into the pot. Here go another one. Hold on. He moving. He going in the pot. He want all the crawdads that's moving. Okay, so these here are the live ones. As you see. Okay, now we got our second thing. Now what we gonna do is, Salt them down again. It's called a purging process. Salt them down real good. Okay. For the water. Okay. Let's get back with you guys. Once we have the pot, bro. Okay. Now, as you see right here, we got all the water. We're gonna do it now. Cut your propane on. Be very careful with your propane. Okay, cut it off. Okay. Get her brother. And then you see right here, we got our crawdads in there. Put that in there. Okay. Once we put that in there. Sausage on top on this batch here because I just want to. Okay, but normally I put them at the bottom um, with, the, with the crawfish in, you know. So I'm gonna put them like this, like so. Okay. 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 I'm gonna take some. Um, Louisiana man of smoke sauce, but you hear me? I'm gonna drop them in. Okay. Drop them in. Now, with the crawfish, it's really about the soaking time. How long you let it soak. You hear me? Okay. Top of them, okay? Because we're only doing just one sack today, so we'll just put a little bit more vegetables on top of that one, okay? A little more peppers, and we're gonna get back to you now. What we're gonna do now, fam? All right, we go drain these out. Now this is our first time purging these so 
We haven't separated the dead and the live ones yet. But y'all gotta stay tuned to my channel, you hear me? I got um, some ducks. I got one chicken, you hear me? So yeah, man, y'all just gotta stay to my channel. Like, share, subscribe. You hear me? Give me some subscribers. Give me some likes, you hear me? Man, share this video. You, If you know somebody in Idaho that don't know how to burrow a crawfish, man, tell them to come to my channel, man. You hear me? So then now we're gonna lay around here and we're gonna let all this dirty water drain up out here, right? Okay? You hear me? All right, come on. Then we're gonna take her. Put it back right here. Okay. Like so. We're gonna get some of that good Morton's iodine salt. You hear me? We're gonna salt them down real good. Because if you really, if you just take your crawfish, you hear me? And you just throw them in a throw them in your and throw them in your pot, man, they're gonna taste like, like dirt, you hear me? Like sand and so you want to take your time and clean your crawfish. You hear me? Okay. Put the water on. Good. And now, you're going to put some more, some more water on them. You hear me? Now, these are probably going to be like a later on batch. You hear me? Later on to eat. You hear me? Uh, have them for tomorrow, you hear me? But we gonna salt these down. As you see that water, the water getting a little more clear, you know? That means the process is doing, doing good. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back at you. See, you hear me, I'll pop barley. So now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add that seasoning in there. Put all that goodness in there. I'm gonna drop it in there like that. Slowly. A little bit of water in there. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna do it like that. Because I'm on the secret cayenne in there. You hear me? Add a little bit more, a little bit more goodness to that pot there, you hear me? Let's see, I'm not gonna come back and mess with this pot until she be brawling again, you hear me? Add some more to it, add some limo. Okay, you see all right. I'm gonna leave it alone. We'll come back in a minute. Now we got our pot to the bra, you hear me? So, take a look at that right there. That Louisiana goodness. So you can't get this nowhere but Louisiana, you hear me? You know, but we're in a city of Baker, Louisiana. You know, so, so. Okay, so now, so now we're just gonna do that like that. I'm gonna make cut the fire down this little tad. Okay. Okay. That she does. She's doing good. Okay, we're going to get back at y'all when that pot be on the tip. So now we're just going to cut off the pot. Cut the gas off. Now we're going to cut this off here. Oh, you know what I forgot to get to them? Some uh, mushrooms. Eat right here, you hear me? I'm gonna put these on the table. Nah. Well, I had to do mine like this here for y'all. This here is a piece of that. Mm. That green 
onion sauce. We need no corn potato because we still got corn potatoes left over. So if here's the other matter sauce. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Well, take your crawfish and do it like that. <coughs> we taste all the cleanness, the freshness of the meat. Uh-uh. You like that? Well, I don't. Sure so, I need y'all to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Boosted Vlogs.